Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Divine Truth Tarot. I'm Sarah and I'll be your intuitive guide and your reader. <clears throat> Today I've picked out the Animal Spirit Guidebook. It's a guidebook for, it's the companion deck to the Wild Unknown Tarot, which is kind of a darker, darker tarot, darker energy. So I don't really use it that often unless I'm really wanting to get, sometimes I'll use it in readings for the Divine Masculine um, or the Divine Feminine to get to those sort of darker energies that are afoot in those connections, um, the shadow energy, shadow aspects, but I don't really use it very often on collective readings. So I'm going to be using the Animal Spirit deck as well as the Magical Dimensions deck. And then I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Perhaps I will use, you know what? They want me to use the Psychic Tarot. Okay, if uh, you will say so, I will do it. Okay, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the live chat. Let me know in the comment section if you're not catching it this live. Let me know how you liked the videos yesterday. I'm feeling very energized to do, to be able to offer you guys a lot, of, a lot more videos. And so I want to know your feedback. I want to know what topics do you want me to cover moving forward? We're gonna be spending a lot more time on your growth and the depth of the divine feminine, your mission work, your spiritual advancement, and a lot less time focusing on what the divine masculine is doing. There's plenty of channels talking about the divine masculine, what they're doing, why they're doing it, the karmic. I just can't focus on that. I can't have that as my main focus anymore. It was really, really draining me. And I'm so excited that so many of you agree with me and so many of you are supporting me in really branching out. So yesterday I did three videos. One of them was talking about this really leading up to this great conjunction that we have on December 21st. And I'm gonna be doing a video on that. And I think I might actually do a live video. So um, yeah, now that I have some extra energy here, I might do a live video for that so we can talk about it together so it can pull some cards. And uh, maybe I'll do some individual readings if I'm feeling up to it too that day. So stay tuned for that. I'll do that around the 21st, which I know is coming up in what, on Sunday. Today's the 18th. Okay, Monday. I can I can count. <laughs> I'm a writer, not a mathematician. So okay, so we will definitely, yeah, we'll definitely have a video. And if it's not a live video, it's going to be a pre-recorded live video. So not to worry, you guys will still be able to engage. If you guys are wanting readings, I am offering written readings at this time through the end of December. I'm taking a break from now until the end of December, until 2021. I'm taking a break from those video readings because I just need a few weeks off from doing those. Uh, for some reason, the personal video readings drain me a lot more than the collective video readings. So I'm trying to figure out why. And um, I mean, I think I understand why. But anyway, so I will be offering written readings. They're really fun, guys. I'm a writer at heart. It's one of my deepest passions and it tells a story. So it's gonna be a detailed reading. It's not one of those just story readings where it's a couple sentences. It's gonna be a detailed reading talking about the cards and the spread. You'll get a picture of the spread as well. <clears throat> it's very um, personalized and the people that have already purchased them for uh, December really loved them. So do let me know if you're interested in that because I do have some spots opening up next week. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with the Divine Feminine. Oh, the lovers. Mr. Lover Lover. We have harmony. We have the lover's energy coming in. Feminine, you are absolutely, you are absolutely stepping into your power, stepping into this inner union. You have married your inner divine feminine and inner divine masculine. No doubt about that. So feminines, you should be feeling really on top of your game as we close out 2020, regardless of where your counterpart is in the actual 3D physical world, because it's full of illusions and mazes right now. You know that movie, The Labyrinth from the 80s, sort of what's going on here with the masculines. The masculines have had a hell of a year and have had so many changes in their physical world and physical environment that they haven't really been able to get to the feminine. So what I'm hearing is that even those who are in communication with their counterpart have found it very, very challenging to actually connect. 
So in some ways, take separation as a blessing because those who are in communication, it's been very challenging. Okay, and it's also been, um, in some ways, it, it has likely held you back to be in communication with them because they're in such a heavy state, heavy place, and you're trying to transmute for them. And it's hard enough to do that in the 5D and add on the 5D, the 4D, and the 3D to that. And you just, I definitely feel like the feminines who have been in communication have been weighed down heavily um, for the majority of 2020. And that may be lightning, okay? That load may be lightning now as we're nearing the end of 2020. But um, definitely in the past and definitely for, you know, the larger part of 2020, when the events of the world started transpiring and happening, the masculine lost what they felt like was a foundation. Even if it was a faulty foundation or an illusion of a foundation, they lost that. But the feminine has gained that within herself. So feminines that have been out of communication for quite some time and feminines who have been in communication, uh, we have developed a it's more of a backbone if you will we have really come into our own where i want you guys to reflect back on this past year and realize how far you've come in regards to self-protection self-awareness self-knowledge self-love okay self acceptance no more self-abandonment think back to so much and how much you've healed especially feminines in regards to what you've allowed in previous relationships and then your divine masculine may have come in and may have been somewhat selfish they may have been unable to make a decision they may have felt like they were choosing somebody else it may have felt like you were not chosen it may have felt like they were not committing to this connection or to you and so you stepped out you bounced you walked and that really sent them spiraling they may not have showed you this they may not have talked about this they may have just basically run away and and you know gone into the runner chaser dynamic and then eventually the feminine stopped chasing because they realized oh if I don't chase, they can't, there's no reason for them to run, right? So it's like, I'm not chasing you anymore, so there's no need for you to run. So eventually the masculine will realize, oh, I'm not being chased. And they will come back into this place where they understand that this is actually about them. It's not actually about the feminine and vice versa. The feminine realizes it's not actually about the masculine. This is about me, my self-love, my self-worth, and my self-awareness. So both counterparts have really had a chance to come into their own in 2020. Um, masculines, you know, having had to lose the feminine in many regards or, or had the fear of, okay, the feminine's gone forever and this was my biggest fear and now I have to face this. And then in turn, they ran from the feminine. So then the feminine experienced that, okay, this was my biggest fear that I would lose my masculine forever. So both counterparts have had to experience those perceived losses to know that they're strong enough to withstand it and handle it, even if it felt like you were going to break or even if it felt like your heart was breaking. You know, the, the masculine's world has been shattered and fallen apart. So those masculine identities, those masculine parts of ourselves have also experienced this. And we had to mend <clears throat> the situations and relationships that we've had as feminines whether in a male or female body does not matter it's simply energy we all carry it we've had to mend those energies we've experienced with masculines in our lives be it the father energy be it the grandfather energy be it um those in power okay be it teachers be it uh, bosses be it co-workers be it family members, friends, be it our own inner masculine energies, but energies where we felt like in some way we were defeated or in some way we felt like we couldn't speak our mind or speak our truth or in some way we were overpowered. So for many of us, that was previous relationships or a relationship with a father figure. Or if you had a masculine dominant mother, you know, it could be either or. So that's a lot, a huge chunk of what the feminines have been healing this year, okay? Um, also what I'm hearing for the masculine energy uh, within and without is obstacles and challenges, material and spiritual prosperity. So this tells me that it may have felt like these past few months, as I talked about yesterday in one of the videos, that there's been a lot of obstacles in regards to financial abundance and success, okay? In reality, what that is, is it was an illusion, but it was created. It was necessary for us to slow down. It was necessary for us to stop focusing on money. Um, it was necessary for us to sort of stop being obsessive about that so that we could grow. Okay, so that the irony is that the less you focus on money and abundance, the more you have it.
<laughs> the less you worry the less you worry about it the less you notice its absence and the loss of it the more it can flow in because you create a state of flow you create a state of harmony so the feminine energy is creating harmony in all aspects of life you can see it's not just this harmonious physical relationship that's an overflow of the energies that are being balanced within first you have that harmony within then you can see and perceive that harmony without as within so without Spirit, tell me more about these <coughs> obstacles and challenges. Okay, okay then. Harmonic resolution, right. So not to worry. Those of you for your masculine energy who has been concerned about money and finances with the physical masculine counterparts have been extremely worried about that as well because they've seen that shatter in their lives over the past year. And there's still a piece of them that feels like they have to come forward and bring something to the feminine, which of course the feminine's like, I don't care. But the masculine energy is still perceiving <clears throat> his or her worth in terms of um, 3d success and the feminines over here like i could care less let's just go live off the grid and let's have babies and let's <laughs> let's make love and let's just dance and have fun whatever it is that i'm just throwing out you know possibilities for the collective and whatever it is that you want let's stay up late and, and talk all night you know let's let's make love all night let's let's just enjoy each other's company they could care less you could live in a shack with a shirt on your back and you would be happy because you'd be with the love of all of your lifetimes. So resolution coming in terms of abundance and yeah, embracing the divine feminine. The divine feminine receives, okay? The divine feminine doesn't need to go out and seek. She receives. That which wants her seeks her. That which you want seeks you, okay? It's knowing that. It's embracing that. It's embodying that. High priestess energy, knowing your worth, okay? Listening to your intuition, trusting the connection you have with nature, trusting the connection you have with animals, trusting the connection you have with your environment, okay? With your home, with people in your life, with your instincts, those gut hunches, trusting those. Not Part of self-love, feminines, is not pushing those gut hunches away, not pushing them to the side. Look at what I just did. <laughs> That's awesome. Sometimes I am awesome. We have the nine of pentacles. Interesting. So we have, mater look, material and spiritual prosperity and material harvest. So this is about bringing these bountiful gifts that you've been cultivating on the inside, feminines, into the external world. Okay, this is... Um, this is pentacles energy this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn and this is very much um balancing in the 3d world drawing all those aspects that, you know those manifestation abilities these intuitive abilities this high priestess i can't talk these high, high priestesses high priestess abilities um in drawing that down to the 3d and so your 3d will now be seen abundantly from an abundant perspective because you're drawing that down because you're trusting this gut instinct you're trusting your hunches you're allowing things to come to you you're receiving you're surrendered and what's gonna what that's gonna do is obliterate these obstacles and challenges that you may have felt around finances and success and abundance and it's bringing in again this inner harmony it's this peacefulness within that says i know that i'm capable i know what i deserve so nine of pentacles this can also be perceived guys as the single card but what i love about this is it's saying i am creating this empire and through this empire i will thrive and through thriving it's going to radiate i'm going to have this aura it's going to radiate uh from me and it's going to allow me to what look at this on the bottom of the card to know my worth right strength card to stand in my power so this energy is going to radiate outwards feminines. It's going to, again, emanate from within, begin from within, rise up from within, and then it's going to radiate outwards into really all directions. Um, so any disconnect or boredom that you felt, feminines, this is four of cups energy, by the way, feeling disconnected from your counterpart, disconnected from your heart, disconnected from love, maybe having given up on love this year. Okay, we've really struggled with our faith. We have, let's be honest, this year. 
and this is saying, you know what? Any of that disconnect or boredom is going to disappear because we're stepping into a new era. We're stepping into this energy of hope. We're stepping into this energy of really, really understanding that we create our reality. This is the star card, but I always see it as the sun card. It's like, how can that not be the sun card? I mean, this is the sun card. And look, two cards here really indicating the lighting up of the solar plexus, your seat and center of personal power, your own personal sun that you can magnify and expand upon whenever you desire, whenever you need a little boost in self-esteem and self-love, okay? And stepping away from any feelings of discontent and boredom, stepping into this energy of, of empowerment, of hope for the future. Um, you know, we haven't had a lot of hope for the future of our connections in 2020. And I feel like that was designed on purpose by the divine because we needed to really shake off any lingering uh, feelings of codependency and ensure that we really, really, truly understood where our power lies. And it's within. It's not without. It's within. All of this is within. I can feel I can literally feel the energy. It's like sucking me into the cards. It's within. It's not without. You cannot find your happiness in another person. Contrary to popular belief in the Matrix 3D system, okay, or movies or books, that's not where we find it. Um, the healing, okay, the success, the abundance, the enlightenment, the wish fulfillment, this happens when we look within, when we seek within. And this, this card, this hope card, this star card talks about the impossible being possible. Um, and it's working through your own soul. It's working through your own soul, not working through anything outside of you. Again, I cannot stress that enough. So use your natural ability, your high priestess abilities of intuition, of magic, because divine feminine, you are magic. You, Your very essence is magic. You know things, you see things, you sense things. That's magic. And your masculine knows it. Your masculine knows it. If they didn't before, they know it now. Step into that energy. Know your power. The future is yours and trust in yourself, trust in this energy of trusting, trust in your power, trust in your ability to create your abundance and take care of yourself, trust in your ability to love yourself, to honor yourself, to accept yourself. So wherever you have felt like there was no hope in this year, we've all felt this. I want us to be honest. We're honest on this channel. This is divine truth tarot. This is not divine, you know, rainbows and butterflies tarot. This is about real life. So we keep it real. And where have you felt like you lost hope? Because that is where the keys to your success are going to lie. That is where, wherever you felt like you've lost hope, that is where it's going to be reinstilled, a reinstilling of hope, a reemergence of hope. And having a positive attitude that everything is actually working out for your highest good in the highest timeline of all. What energy or feminine stepping into? Mm, yep, stability, vitality. Stability, vitality. Out of that survival mode and that fear mode of, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to make it on my own. What if I what if I die alone? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? Those things that come up at night, if you're like me and you're trying to sleep, right? Your mind's like, oh, let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about the time when you were five and you fell off a bike. No, let's not. Let's not. So know that you're taken care of. Know that the prosperity is incoming. Know that you have the ability to create it for yourself. You don't need to rely on anybody else or anything outside of yourself. You just don't. You just don't. And what else? The stability is, is already there. It's being anchored into the 3D. Transformation, metamorphosis, synchronicities, the unexpected. Expect the unexpected, feminines, in every possible way, in every aspect of your life. Expect the unexpected, dreamscape, dream work, subconscious imagination. Use your imagination. Know that there's work being done. I've been saying this for months. We are clearing out and cleaning out in our dream state. So it may not even have anything to do with your divine masculine at this time, but this is about you cleaning up and clearing out past relationships and any remnants, you know, uh, that may have been left over from those situations. 
and then celestial assistance, angelic messages, guidance, enlightenment. So know that you're receiving downloads in I'm hearing you're being attuned to your calling. So some of you are going to be receiving more downloads than ever right now. You're being attuned to this journey. You're being attuned to your path. You're being attuned to your mission right now. So your ancestors are working with you. Your guides are heavily working with you. The Galactic Federation is working with you at this time. And you are absolutely a star weaver. You are made of stardust. You are made of magic and these messages that you're receiving, they are meant to be shared. So in whatever way, writing, speaking, um, sharing, sharing these messages of guidance and enlightenment with the collective, we are all meant to do this because we are all messengers. Well, every single one of us, if you're on this journey, you're a messenger, you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Um, but understand that there's, there's a major change taking place right now inside of you. Yes, on the planet, yes, collectively, but inside of you as well. So feminines, I have to run. I have to go um, have a family, um, not a situation. We're picking up my nephew's BMX bike today. It's been put together. So I'm going to run and engage with my family, but I will be back because this is to be continued. There's a lot of positive power in this reading and this is definitely to be continued. So I love you guys. I send you so much hope and guidance and enlightenment at this time. And I'll see you again later on in the channel. Take good care.